two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon guys, it's Garrett and today I'm going to bring guys a video basically explaining the best way to save your images for the best quality possible on Photoshop CC. This can be used for Photoshop CC or CS6 so if you guys are on the kind of a, excuse me, a, a downscale of this then it will totally work the same way. You're just going to need a certain thing inside of the file option that we'll be going over later in the video. So uh, before we go on with all this, we're going to be breaking down this whole entire video into two kind of bits and that's going to be JPEG versus PNG. If you guys don't know what the difference between them are, um, JPEG is a very small image size. A lot of the DSLR cameras nowadays are taking images in JPEG or RAW, it depends what kind of setting you're on. And uh, it has very small loading time, so exporting the image is going to be super fast. Uploading it will be very fast as well. But a very big downfall is it does not offer transparency. So if you guys are into making renders in like Cinema 4D, or you're into uh, taking out backgrounds for people, and it, JPEG will not work for that. But it does offer a very big wide range of colors that you can save for. So that's really good when you guys are into photography and stuff like that. You know, it brings everything together, all the colors and all the images get uh, produced well and the resolution doesn't go down that much. It depends on how you save it and uh, save it for the best quality possible, which we're gonna be going over. So the next thing is gonna be PNG and uh, it's another image format. And uh, there's two kind of things we're gonna be going over in this video is PNG 8 and PNG 24. But overall, PNG does offer a bigger file size, which can't be that uh, good if you guys are into, you know, having things load fast, getting your images uploaded onto your Flickr account or your uh, Shutterstock. And uh, it does offer very high quality. The quality is sometimes even better than JPEG and uh, it's very crisp and it does support transparency. So PNG is usually what I save for just in case I have a little bit of transparency I want to uh, kind of flow through. But uh, it does not matter all so much if you're into photography or into uh, kind of stuff like that. But if you guys are saving these for YouTube banners, Twitter headers, um, Twitch banners, um, Twitch overlays, anything like that, then I would definitely go to PNG. We're gonna be going over kind of the best reasons why. So uh, the next thing we're going to go over is the different kind of sections of PNG. So PNG does offer two versions. It's PNG 8 and PNG 24. And uh, for PNG 8, it does only offer 256 colors, but it's a very small file size rather than PNG 24 has true colors. It's very large, but it almost supports literally infinite amount of colors. So uh, if you guys have a very good SSD or very good exporting kind of time or upload speed, then uh, PNG 24 would probably be ideal for you guys. So uh, let's get right into it and saving your image. So I have a 4K image of a, I'm pretty sure this is a chameleon. And uh, we're going to be going over on how to actually save this for the best quality. So if you guys are interested in saving your images, you guys took a really crisp image of let's say um, a soccer game you guys went to or a uh, football game, then uh, basically this is going to be the best thing for you. And uh, for designers, people tend to usually save in PNG 24, of course, you know, it's better for social media and Twitch and stuff like that. But uh, photographers, of course, usually kind of lean more towards JPEG as it doesn't include that transparency that they do not want to see. So let's get right into the video that you guys want to see. So real quick, I have this image. I found it off of Google, so all the rights go to them. But all you want to do really to kind of save your image, you have all of your stuff done. If you go to File and go down right here to Export and click on it, there's going to be a thing called Save for Web Legacy. And uh, you guys can click Alt, Shift, Control, S, which will bring it up as well. But when you click Save for Web Legacy, it's going to kind of bring up a different menu. And what this is, it's basically showing you guys the uh, best quality that you guys can get. And uh, there's usually a little preview screen right here. You guys can lower the size, of course. Um, sometimes it's really zoomed in. And uh, sometimes the quality is usually not the best if you're zoomed out really far, but it, you guys can zoom in and see it. It does get a little pixelated, of course, but of course it's not that bad. So, uh, of course, make sure you're staying on the original section of this because you want to get the best quality. And uh, right here is going to be kind of two little things you want to go through. And uh, there's presets or you can do it on your own. Of course, I'd be working with a um, your own, you know, I would rather do this to yourself. So we're gonna, there's JPEG, PNG 8, and PNG 24. We're gonna click on PNG 24 because that's kind of the best quality that I think you guys can get out of your images. And uh, right here, there's gonna be a little preview. And for the preview, you guys can choose um, Legacy Macintosh, which has no color magnet or management, excuse me. You guys can have your monitor color 
internet standard or use document profile. If I was you guys, I would always stay on internet standard because uh, Macintosh offers a different kind of resolution and uh, saturation and contrast rather than your monitor could be on a different setting like um, a lot of monitors nowadays have like a game setting, a uh, vivid setting, contrast setting. So I'd always leave it on internet standard. It's the best quality possible. For your metadata, um, really I would just leave it to copyright and contact info you know there's really nothing else you want to mess with that you can click none if you really want to but of course I would just leave it to copyright and contact info so right here with the color table nothing's gonna be popping up right here that's gonna stay the same like this way I'd leave it the exact way you are and uh, now you're gonna go down to here and this is when you want to change your image size so if you guys want to make the uh, banner a certain amount you guys want to have the width and height a certain amount you guys can actually type it in here and if uh, the lock is on it will convert into something else of course I would totally leave it the best resolution you can and I keep it the same if you guys want to change the width different than the height you guys have to unclick right here which is going to unrestrain everything else. So uh, right here is going to be quality and they have kind of different settings and uh, they have by cubic smoother, by cubic billionaire and nearest neighbor. I usually like to use um, by cubic sharper. It's kind of a personal personal preference of course you guys can um, zoom in to this image a little bit more and look at it and uh, if we change it. It does get a little bit different. It's very hard to see by the naked eye, but it's basically how the pixels um, go within each other. I like using sharper because it kind of brings out more of a uh, sharper image into the into the quality. Kind of brings out everything better, and it's a really nice kind of, I guess you can say, a very nice uh, appearance overall. So now that you guys are done with this whole entire thing, you guys want to click on this right here. It's called save. And when you click on save, you guys want to save it to any folder you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call this folder tutorial. And uh, what you want to do is just name, like, um, name it, excuse me, and you can label it anything you want. We can label it chameleon as I spell it wrong. And uh, for format, you guys can save it for your HTML and images, images only in HTML, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, I like to save it for images, it's kind of the best quality of course, and I'm not really using this for HTML so I won't really need that. For default settings, of course, I would just save it for default settings and then click save. And uh, it's going to load a little bar down here, which is going to bring you out a side of the Photoshop. So now that you guys are done with this, you guys can click out of all your little programs and stuff like that. You guys can uh, open it up and stuff. And uh, really quickly, if I can find the folder, my desktop is actually a mess. I had a, uh, I clicked something and it kind of brought all my stuff around. So uh, the image is going to take a little bit to load, of course, since it is the best quality you can possibly get on through your images. Also that I'm using Camtasia, my uh, computer is using a lot of my power. But uh, right here you guys can see that the image is at the highest quality possible. It's even higher quality than when I saved it. Um, you guys can look at it for yourself, you guys can make it your desktop wallpaper. But uh, what it really does is saving your images like this really brings out the kind of quality inside of everything. But uh, that's the best quality you guys can save your images for. JPEG, of course, works perfectly well for photography and stuff like that. PNG 8 is kind of the uh, downscale of PNG 24. And overall, it's a very nice kind of unique thing to learn. Of course, every designer should know the difference between all of them. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys had a very informative video, please leave a like on this um, video. Make sure you subscribe and comment and uh, make sure you stay tuned for other future videos. If you guys want to see anything specific, there's going to be a link in the description below to enter into a form. I look at the videos, your guys suggestions if I make them, you guys get a shout out in the video. So uh, of course, if you guys want anything, please check it out on my channel. Message me on Twitter or Skype or anything like that. And of course, it's been Garrett and I hope you guys are enjoying your school year and your summer break if it's over or if it's not excuse me other than that have a very nice day peace out guys